For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and if you are a Scream Factory fan, then you have got a lot to be excited about. Just the other day at San Diego Comic-Con, Scream Factory announced 14, that's right, 14 upcoming Blu-ray releases, uh, many of them scheduled for later this year, some of them scheduled for early 2019, many of them collector's edition Blu-ray releases. We get a box set, we get some Blu-ray releases for films that um, definitely deserve Blu-ray releases. It's an awesome list. Uh, you can find the list on Screen Factory's Facebook page. Head over there, check it out. I'll just scroll down the list here and kind of give you my uh, thoughts on these releases. Uh, number one, 10 to Midnight, the Charles Bronson exploitation um, slasher police procedural from Canon Films um, is actually getting a collector's edition Blu-ray release from Scream Factory. Thank you, Scream Factory. Now, as most of you guys know, I'm a huge Charles Bronson fan. I love most of his movies, particularly the Death Wish series. I also love Tend to Midnight. It's a movie I've not talked about a lot on the channel, but it is a fun, sleazy, <laughs> exploitation, um, slasher, police procedural, and very, very, very uh, canon films. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. Expected street date early 2019 and a collector's edition. Thank you. Scream Factory. Really excited for 10 to Midnight. Uh, next up, Candyman. And my God, I was just thinking about Candyman the other day, as a matter of fact. And, and whenever I think of Candyman, the question is always, why has this movie not gotten a Blu-ray release up to now? You know what I mean? What is the problem? Um, and I, it only makes sense that Scream Factory would be the company to finally bring us a Blu-ray release for Candyman and a collector's edition, of course, a two-disc collector's edition. Um, let's see, where is that release date? Early 2019. Um, Scream Factory is boasting uh, loaded with new extras and a new transfer of the film. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Candyman is much deserving of this kind of Blu-ray release. And why it's taken so long, I have no freaking clue. Um, their, uh, Scream Factory is offering a... Um, looks like they're doing the limited edition uh, lithograph uh, with, this, uh, with this release limited to uh, 2,000. Uh, a deluxe poster, alternate slip case, and uh, the lithograph. So that'll be cool. Uh, Screen Factory looks like they're rolling out the red carpet for Candyman, as it, it, it certainly deserves to have the red carpet rolled out for it. I'm wondering if maybe... Wondering if maybe this one will come with a, a collectible figure, maybe? Kind of like the uh, Saturday Night Deadly Nights... Blu-ray that came out last year or the upcoming uh, Night of the Demons uh, Blu-ray that's coming out from Screen Factory. That would be interesting. That would be very cool. But yes, finally, thank goodness, Candyman on Blu-ray from Screen Factory, two-disc collector's edition. It's about freaking time. Next up, The Craft, collector's edition of The Craft. Um, it's been a while since I've seen The Craft, but I remember it, it, it being a pretty good movie. I know it's got quite a cult following. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are really excited about The Craft. This one also has a expected street date of early 2019. So fans of The Craft definitely have something to look forward to there. And next up, The Critters Collection. All four Critters movies in a box set from Scream Factory, new extras. Um, and of course, Scream Factory wants us to know that all of the films will be housed in their own 
uh, Blu-ray cases. Good idea, uh, Screen Factory. Great idea. That's how you do a box set. That is how you do uh, a box set. So Critters fans, I'm sure Critters fans are rejoicing right now. It has been a long time since I've seen a Critters movie. <laughs> so uh, maybe picking up this th- this set will give me an opportunity to revisit those movies. I loved them when I was a kid, but it's been a long time since I've seen any of the Critters movies. Uh, street date planned for November 27th. Very nice. This one's also coming with a poster, uh, or I'm sorry, with a rolled lithograph of the new slip case art. Very nice. And those are limited to 1000. But yeah, Critters fans rejoice. A box set from Scream Factory for all of the films. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Next up, Dracula Prince of Darkness Collector's Edition, the Christopher Lee film uh street date of december this one also a collector's edition so all of you hammer fans out there all of you christopher lee dracula uh, fans out there you've definitely got something to look forward to there Uh, obsession the brian de palma film from 1976 another collector's edition release very nice i do not think i've seen obsession uh i don't think i've seen the film so this will give me an opportunity to see Randa Palma's Obsession. Early 2019 street date on that one. Saturday the 14th. Oh, goodness. Saturday the 14th. Uh, this one apparently not going to be a collector's edition. <laughs> Often requested this goofy horror comedy. Uh, finally gets a Blu-ray release. Expected street date early 2019. It's been a long, long time since I've seen Saturday the 14th. Screamers, the Peter Weller film. Um, Not a collector's edition, though. Um, Another one. It's been a long time since I've seen Screamers, but I recall liking the movie quite a bit. Um, And uh, Scream Factory says this is another one that has been often requested. I can totally understand that. Early 2019 release for Screamers. I believe Dan O'Bannon directed Screamers. Am I right? Hmm. I seemed, you know, I, I think Dan O'Bannon directed Screamers, or or he wrote it. He either wrote it and directed it, or just wrote it, or just directed it. I I can't recall. Uh, let's see. Next up, single white female. Uh, this one just uh, a standard release apparently. Um, but for the, I'm surprised this movie's not been on Blu-ray in the past. Interesting. Um, uh, November thirteenth release date. For single white female, this single white female was a movie that was constantly on, like Cinemax back in the day, and I've seen it countless, countless times, but I've not seen it in many, many years. Next up, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two. You guys know I love Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two, and a collector's edition. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I I must admit, I had some insider info about this release um, for a little while. So I've been um, I've been very excited about uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 Collector's Edition Blu-ray release from Scream Factory. Really looking forward to it this December. I am very, very much hoping, fingers crossed, fingers very, very tightly crossed, that much like the Silent Night Deadly Night Blu-ray release that we got last year, this release for Silent Night Deadly Night Part 2 will come with an Eric Freeman figure. And now, NECA would be foolish, beyond foolish, to not do that figure in the garbage day Uh, attire the blue sweater the handgun even give us a garbage can as an accessory for that Um, if you do not NECA if you are listening and you decide to include a figure Scream Factory I hope you're listening too if you guys are going to do a figure to include with the Silent Night Deadly Night Part 2 Collector's Edition Blu-ray release it has to be Eric Freeman Ricky Caldwell from the garbage day scene has to be you guys would be crazy 
to not do that figure. Crazy. So Scream Factory, NECA, if you're going to do a figure for Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, it has to be Eric Friedman slash Ricky Caldwell, the garbage day scene. Got to go that way. Really excited for the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 Collector's Edition Blu-ray release. Um, really hoping there's a lot of great extras on there. Commentary, making of, interviews, the whole nine yards. Really excited about that one. Next up, Sleepwalkers. And it's getting a collector's edition release. This is another one that was constantly on Cinemax back in the day. I've seen it many times, but I've not seen it anytime recently. Um, weird, wacky, wacky movie. I understand... I understand Sleepwalkers does have a little bit of a cult following, and I'm sure those people are very, very happy about their collector's edition of Sleepwalkers. Um, I may pick it up if I can catch uh, a sale, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sleepwalkers, just a wacky, wacky movie. Uh, this one also coming complete with uh, with a poster and, uh, and all that good stuff. Let's see, November 11th, street date for Sleepwalkers, collector's edition. Very nice. Next up, Starman Collector's Edition. Yes. Uh, with an expected street date of December, uh, we cannot get enough of John Carpenter. Who, uh, who, who can get, who can, who could get enough of John Carpenter? I'm hoping there's some nice new extras um, for this, this release of Starman. Um, that would be very nice. That would be very, very nice if we got some new extras for Starman. It's been um, it's been many a moon since I've seen Starman, and um, I would definitely like to check it out. And hopefully, uh, this release from Scream Factory will live up to the collector's edition title and have some really nice new extras on it. Uh, and next up, rounding out the list, we have Urban Legends. And Urban Legends Final Cut. And Urban Legend is getting a collector's edition release, a two-disc collector's edition release. And it appears as though Urban Legends Final Cut is just going to get a standard release. Uh, bo uh, both of them uh, expected to release on November 20th. Uh, these two releases, um, my buddy Peter Brackey, the author of the book Crystal Lake of Memories, is producing these two releases. I'm really excited for him i'm really excited to check these out he's he's working on the extras for them right now um really excited for these two releases really excited for peter i'm sure that um you know knowing peter i know that the extras for both urban legend and urban legends final cut will be uh, top notch so i'm excited for him and i'm excited for the fans of urban legend and urban legends because um, I know these will both be very, very good releases with some really nice extras on them produced by Peter. Um, and I have to admit, I have a soft spot for both Urban Legend and Urban Legend's Final Cut. Um, I actually think Urban Legend's Final Cut is probably better um, than Urban Legend. So um, it's been a while since I've seen either one, but I always remember kind of siding with Urban with Final Cut um, as the better film. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for both releases. And again, um, I, I know Peter will, will knock the extras out of the ballpark for, for both of these releases. So if you're a fan of urban legend or urban legends, get excited. Both of them coming out November 20th. Um, all releases are for us and Canadian territories. Of course, Candyman critter, single white female sleepwalkers, urban legend and urban legends. Final cut are all available for pre-order now over on shop factories website. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of releases, uh, coming up from Scream factory. A lot of them I'm really excited about again, Candyman, Thank you. I mean, my goodness, it's taken way too long to get a Candyman Blu-ray release in uh, in the U.S. and Canada. And thank goodness that Scream Factory is doing it. And they're giving us a collector's edition, two disc. And I'm sure it's going to be uh, just a killer release. 10 to midnight. Speaking of killer releases, <laughs> 10 to midnight. Um, glad that that one's getting a collector's edition as well. Love me some 10 to midnight. Love me some Charles Bronson. Definitely going to be picking that bad boy up. <clears throat> The Critters Collection, I'm excited about it because it's going to give me an opportunity to revisit those Dagon Critters films. <laughs> uh, and, of course, 
Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, The Collector's Edition, and Scream Factory, NECA, please, for God's sake, all of you guys out there watching this, message Scream Factory and NECA, tweet Scream Factory and NECA, if you are going to produce a figure to go along with the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, Collector's Edition release, it has to be Ricky Caldwell, Eric Freeman, the Eric Freeman, uh, during the garbage day scene, the blue sweater, the handgun, even throw in there like a, a garbage can as an accessory as well. He's got to have that look on his face. He's got to have the brows lifted. It's got to be garbage day, man. It's got to be garbage day. Scream Factory, NECA, hashtag, it's got to be garbage day. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all of these releases. Which ones are you the most excited for? Which ones are, are, are just absolute must buys? Uh, which ones are you going to pre-order? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. And Carpet Day! <laughs> Join the Abuck a Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Joseph Charlesworth, Grindhouse Grotto, PB Sam 6, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Tim Williams, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, James Welch, Eli Geisler, and Jeff Overing. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.